Hey everyone! In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this stylized leather material in Substance Painter. I will use the body mesh which I created for Pumpkin Boy from one of my previous videos. Make sure to check this one to see the way I sculpted his outfit. So let's get started. First of all, we should bake all of the main textures. This is gonna be our foundation for the material. After this is done, we add fill layer to our leather material. Let's just focus on the color for now and then we will continue working with roughness and normal textures. Always add some contrast to your textures, so it will add some richness of color and won't look too grey. Actually, we can set a basic roughness for now, so it won't distract our eyes. We will use masks and another folder to separate parts of the same mesh and add different colors, roughness and etc. to it. Always use folders and namings so you won't get lost in your material textures. So select this polygon fill tool and start selecting parts of the mesh which you want to make having different color. Don't forget to turn on symmetry. If you missed selection, then simply move this point to the black position and select polygons which you want to remove from the mask. Next step will be to smooth our mask in order that we won't have these stairs on our selection. I prefer to use this bevel filter and do these settings so it won't be too blurry and will remove the stairs. Now, as soon as we are done with masking, we can start making our colors more interesting looking. The first thing I do is adding a gradient. It will show us a concentration point on the model with lighter color. Create a black mask and add a generator. Then choose 3D linear gradient. Don't be afraid to play around with all of the generator settings and blending mode to get an interesting result. Then 
The second generator we will use is ambient occlusion. And now one of the most important generators is light. It will immediately give you volume to a texture. I add them from top and bottom parts of the mesh. The next step is to add some scratches and edge wares. Just like before, don't forget adding some tweaks to it.
And the last thing we do for our color is adding layers with cloud mask and add more colors for the texture. Now we can move on to the adjusting roughness and normal textures. Here we go, so now just copy all of the layers except the first one and paste them to the second layer material. Now you can adjust them for it too. So this is it. I hope this tutorial was useful for all of you who wants to create stylized leather material. See you in the next video.